Hello, welcome to the, the second of my three little videos on the subject of something like what, what happens to my gifts when I enter religious life or the kinds of things that I felt God showing me while I've been praying about this kind of, of topic. And um, wh while I was living at the convent as an alongside her, I was praying with the passage the Annunciation where, where Gabriel appears to Mary and Mary makes her response of here I am the Lord's servant or the Lord's handmaid and may it be to me according to your word or according to God's will and I was it kind of I was reminded of our need to be to be that um, genuinely like open to God and available to God of having no no kind of preferences or agenda of our own but being completely happy, happy for, for God to use us as God wants. Um, I know I'm pretty sure it was Mother Teresa that used the image of being a pencil in God's hand and if you're going to be a pencil in God's hand you need to be completely detached from your own motives and your own agenda and your own preferences and be I utterly happy to just submit to, to what God wants to do in you and with you. Uh, and a, a similar thing, Therese of Lisieux, who, who I love reading, uh, she's really helped me a lot over the last few years. She, she uses the image of, well, she, she talks about um, Jesus, like when he was a baby or a toddler, and she talks about herself being the ball, like a, like a little toy ball that, that little children play with. And she says, I, if Jesus wants to, to play with me or, or use me, that then I'm happy for that. Or if he wants to put me to one side for a bit, then I'm happy for that. And I suppose the one of the kind of spiritual phrases I've come across in some of my reading for that kind of sums those things up is, is holy indifference, which doesn't mean like not caring, but it means kind of genuinely um putting everything so much into God's hands that you don't mind if you're being used or if you're not being used. Uh, and so uh, you might have seen, uh, I put a song up on this channel that I wrote like, years ago that was kind of trying to op off offer an opposite of the song, Will You Come and Follow Me? Um, because I, I, wrote, I wrote the words at a time where I wanted to, to go out and do ministry, but I felt that that wasn't God's will for my life at that moment and that I was asked to, to stay put and be more hidden and um, so, so I wrote the words that are all about will you stay and wait with me and, and I guess like, but, but both are important but I suppose like holy indifference or, or, or being genuinely having the mentality the true mentality of, of here I am the handmaid of the Lord do with me what you will then you're equally happy to go and follow God or, or go and do what God's asking you to do if you are being asked to do something but you're equally happy to be hidden or or let someone else do what you would have liked to do yourself or or you're happy just to not be used um but you're equally happy for that as well because all you want is God's will so I, I realize that that's kind of where I need to to get to spiritually if that makes sense or, or that's that that's the right kind of spiritual motive for me to aim for which I, I think once once you can from everything I've read like well, once you can get to that place and it's actually a very peaceful place to live in because you're you're not feeling frustrated when you're not being used and you're not you're generally not feeling frustrated about not having your own way because you you just you just all you want is, is God's way and for God to have God's way with you um but going back to this so I've read a few notes for once Oh yeah, so um, well, while I was praying, um, I was thinking about Mother Teresa's image of the pencil, but, but the image that came into my mind while I was praying was of those, um, I was praying about the whole thing of a feeling I've got to give up lots of gifts or put gifts into, into storage, like I've mentioned in my last two videos. So um, while I was praying, the image that came into my mind was of those little acrylic pots of paint that children use like you might buy a little painting kit and you have like I don't know eight different coloured pots of like mini things of acrylic paint all, all strung together and that's the image that I felt God give me and I, and I felt that in this image each different colour 
of paint as like a different gift that we might have like we might be good at um i just can't think of examples but that everyone everyone has got like various different things that they're good at so everyone has got their own unique uh set of colors i suppose which which are their their gifts and in the image i saw in my head like all the the lids of these little paint pots were open and and i felt god kind of reassure me that that your gifts are, whereas paint dries out your gifts never dry out they'll always be there all your life but if if we're going to be if we're going to have the same response uh, as mary of here i am your your handmaid or your servant we've basically got to see ourselves as a set of paints with the lids open but ready to be used when god the artist wants to use this gift or, or this gift in in what god's doing uh but equally happy just to sit and wait if God doesn't want to use a particular gift for for a while. And I, I just found that that image quite useful. That all I'm all I'm being asked to do is just kind of sit there and be be available to God. And when you're when you're a, a pot of paint, you don't you don't kind of it's wrong to have the mentality of, of I'm determined to be used and then try and like kind of I don't know pour yourself over the painting or something uh you, you've got to wait for God to put to put the paintbrush in you because he wants to use that particular gift and it might be that you're waiting like I was talking about the drama for example I didn't do any drama for 13 years so you might have a, a little pot of paint that isn't used for years and years but then suddenly God will dip his paintbrush in that gift and want to use that for a while or it might be that God wants to um, only use like a little bit of of paint for, from this pot of you um, so I, I was sort of thinking about all the different the different ways that, that this image kind of plays out in life but I, I just found that image really helpful so I thought uh, I'd share it